Today I'm going to show you the process of cutting paper and this is done in the dark room with the amber lights on. So when you open your package you're going to see that the paper has two different sides and when it's shined into the amber you can see one is shiny one is not. Emulsion side is the shiny side. When you begin cutting make sure that you place the paper against that wooden edge and then pull the blade down from the top and that's going to create a 5x7 by, by cutting the 8x10 in half. When you go to cut a test strip, because you're doing this almost in the dark, I like to crease the top and bottom edges and line it up with the edge of the paper cutter. So I'm feeling for that edge and pulling it down from the top. Another way you could cut a test strip is you could just place it without folding it and feel on either side to see if it's even. When you're done with any test strips or cutting any paper, you always place it back into the bag. When you're back at your enlarger station and you're ready to make a print, this is the way I'd like you to place your paper underneath the easel. You just slide it right under your frame and center it. Two edges are going to stick out, but that's okay. And then when you're working with the 8x10 easel at your enlarger station, you do not have to prepare your paper in any way. It comes as an 8x10, and then you slide it just underneath the frame. Just a reminder, you need to keep all your paper inside of the black and white envelope. So make sure it's tucked inside and the top is folded over before you go back into the classroom.